Searching for a ward space can take a long time. Going from airline website to airline website, you log in, you search, you don't find a ward space, and then you just repeat again. Searching like this, you'll learn a lot of things, and there's some value in doing it this way, but it can take forever. Well, there's a quick and easier method that can take maybe just 10 minutes or even less to search for the award availability that you're looking for. My name is Max and I help people maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It does help out my channel. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get started. There are free ways to search for award space and then there are paid tools that can help you speed up your award search. People love free, but it can take more time, especially if you're not deep into miles and points and have a strong understanding of flight route and operating airlines, what airlines to search and how to search. So all that can take a lot more time. If you want a quicker way to search for award space, then you can pay for tools that'll help you do that and I'll do it a lot quicker. In this video, I'll go over a paid tool called Seats.Arrow. This video is not sponsored. It's a tool that I actually use and I've grown to love it. If you don't wanna pay for it, you don't have to. Seats.Arrow does give you a free option to search for award space. But if you want to see award space beyond 60 days, then that's when you need to pay for the version that's $10 a month. Maybe you can just sign up for the $10 subscription and then just cancel it after you find the award space that you're looking for. Now let's get into the strategy of how can you use Seats.Arrow to find award space to get to Asia. When you're flying from US to Asia, you'll likely fly from a major US airport like one of these to one of these major airports in Asia. So whether you live in a small town or a big city, these are the major airports in the US that you'll need to fly out of to get to Asia. And we'll call these US gateway cities and Asia gateway cities. If you live in a small town in the US, you'll need to make your way to one of these major US airports. If you want to fly to another country in Asia that's outside of these airports, you'll still need to connect through one of these airports. Trans-Pacific flight is usually the most difficult to find award availability for. So it makes sense to start your search there for those routes first. Once we find award availability for the Trans-Pacific flight, that's when we can later figure out if we can add on a connecting flight on either ends or both ends of the Trans-Pacific leg. This is where seats.arrow comes in. We're here on seats.arrow and there's multiple ways to search here on seats.arrow. One of my favorite tools to find award flights between those two gateway cities, those US gateway cities and those Asia gateway cities is to click on search up here. So this will take us to the search tool and this is super powerful. So in the origin city, we're gonna put in USA. By putting in USA, this searches all the major US cities that I mentioned previously. You can learn more about these multi-city codes uh, by clicking on learn more about this feature up here. And if you scroll down to USA, it says US large airports and it searches all of these airports in the US. And so you don't have to type all of them in. So that's the first step for origins. And to make this go away, you can click on learn more and that minimizes. And so as for destinations, let's put in those Asia gateway cities. And for those Asia gateway cities, we can type in Asia and click on ASA, which is all the major Asian airports. And then if we type in SAS, that will give us all the Southeast Asia airports. And that pretty much covers all the airports that we previously mentioned as gateway cities. I think with the exception of PEK, which is Beijing and PVG, which is Shanghai. Okay, so now we have our gateway cities inputted. Let's select a departure date. Let's do some time in next year. Let's do May 15th. And then up here, you have the option to choose plus or minus seven days, plus or minus 14 days, or plus or minus 28 days. Just for speed wise, we're gonna do plus or minus seven days. And so it searches plus seven days in advance of the date that you picked and minus seven days uh, behind of the date that you picked. I like to choose show individual flights. I think it's just cleaner and more organized when you click on show individual flights. And then if you click on pro features down here, there's options to kind of filter out some more like results. And so only direct flights, you can specify how many seats, but I'll leave that off for now, just for this demo purposes. So you can see what the free options like. Let's go ahead and hit search. And so after a few seconds, it outputs these results. These are the airline programs that seats.arrow searched, the flights to and from departure arrival economy, premium economy, business, and first class. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort this by business. What this does is it sorts it by the green bubbles and the blue bubbles. Green bubbles mean it's direct flight. Blue bubbles means that there's a connecting option. We wanna focus on the green bubbles because that means there's a direct connection from a US city to that gateway Asian city. So the cool thing about seats.arrow here is that it searches one world, sky team, 
and Star Alliance Airlines. For example, it asserts American Airlines here and has found Japan Airlines Flight 57. So American Airlines is part of the One World and One World Airlines partner with American Airlines. Seats.Arrow searched American Airlines for American Airlines flights and One World partner flights and found this Japan Airline flights. Seats.Arrow searched Air Canada Aeroplan and found this Singapore Airlines flight. Singapore Airlines and Air Canada are part of the Star Alliance. From searching like this, you search Sky Team, Star Alliance, and also One World. Airlines. What do you do next? The next thing you do is you want to click on these information markers. And when you click on these information markers, it would tell you a little bit more about the flight. And if we're looking for business class, let's switch this over to business class. And what we could do is click on book with Air Canada Aeroplan and go ahead and click on that. What this does is that it deep links you into Air Canada's website. And then it shows you the flight results. And so this is the LA to Singapore flight. It has one seat available for 87,500 Air Canada Aeroplan points. And so that's the award availability we're looking for. Finding award availability between those gateway cities is super important because that is the hardest part to find award space for. Once you find that award space for, then you can kind of figure out if you want to tack on a flight before the award space that you just found or after the award flight that you just found. So depending on what the airline website's like, if you can go up to modify and say, if I want to go to Bangkok instead, type in Bangkok and then hit search and see what results come up. You already found the award space for the Trans-Pacific leg, the hardest part. The next part is if you don't live near LAX, figure out how to get to LAX. The airline might allow you to add an additional flight, for example, from Phoenix to LAX, then continue on to Singapore. If the airline doesn't let you add that additional flight, then you have to book a separate positioning flight, like a Southwest flight from Phoenix to LA. If you don't want to go to Singapore, that's when you can use the same strategy and do the same thing. Go from LAX to Singapore and see if you can add on a Bangkok to Singapore leg. If that doesn't work, then you can book a separate ticket from Singapore to Bangkok. So taking that strategy, finding that trans-Pacific leg first, and then figuring out the connecting flight or the connection flights or booking a separate ticket to get to where you want to go. As a side note, seats.arrow's award space is not always 100% accurate. And in some cases, seats.arrow has dated award space that was pulled a couple hours ago, sometimes several days ago. So just be aware of that. I'll drop my seats.arrow affiliate link down in the description if you want to use that. And using that link helps support my work. So that's the overall strategy. Find the award space between the two gateway cities, the US gateway cities and the Asia gateway cities. That's the hardest part. And then once you find that, then you can figure it out from there. Just be flexible, adjust your schedule to fit the award space, and you'll find out there's a lot more ways to optimize and maximize your credit card points. So take this strategy and apply it to your situation or wherever you want to travel. And if you want me to do a Europe version of this video, comment below and let me know. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And if you want more videos on how to maximize your points, check out these videos over here, and that will give you more information on how to maximize your credit card points. And I'll see you guys in the next one.